Hey, what's up guys? Richard here with High Caliber Carpentry. I want to show you how we installed a farmhouse sink. So one of the first things that we had to do is, since these had two drawers on the front of them, they're the two faux drawers, we had to cut those out and put this little piece of cabinet grade plywood in here, uh, that little strip. So the homeowners are going to fill in these little small undulations later with wood filler and paint that. Um, you can see we put some new supports in here. So this did have a quarter inch piece of ply. We just took that out and instead installed this piece right here along with a little nailer or screw bracket and come along in the face of the cabinets here and uh, put these little small screws. Now we use trim heads, that's what we call them as trim heads. They have a smaller head than your, your wider screw heads. And so for, for these, we're just gonna put some wood filler in there or the homeowners will and then paint over that as well. So to get to the support system, we come underneath and we put some new plywood walls in. So this plywood wall is new and this plywood wall is new as well. We made all of these cuts um, from this one right here, cut around, down, around these two hinges. And then finally, into the floor, uh, along with putting us a uh, little dishwasher, a drain, and um, supply line uh, back through there. It's like a two by two cutout. And then for this one, it wasn't as extravagant, but we did have to take a rasp and cut out the insides of these joints here. I don't know if you can see those. Just took a rasp and carved those out, made it accessible for these hinges to fit inside of. So here's the biggest thing is our um, braces. We've just put a two by four brace back here and used two by two. So we just pretty much cut a two by four in half and braced it up there, uh, screwed everything in together, um, came in from the outside and screwed in. As you can see right in here, you can see those screw holes. That's holding everything nice and neat. And then um, we, we had the farmhouse sink in here and then fit all the framing to it so it doesn't rock at all. And then the last thing that we did before we installed it is we put silicone up around the edges here and all around where it's touching, uh, silicone up through here and along the back side. And then along uh, the edges here, you can see it coming out a little bit. Put silicone all along the back. We didn't do anything with the back side of it. It's got enough support on the sides. Our intent for it isn't to only support from the sides because that lip's only 5 eighths of an inch. And this is going to be mounted underneath the countertop. So the, it's sitting at a 16th of an inch below this uh, cabinet line right here. And the same thing right here too is sitting a 16th of an inch below this cabinet line. And again, when you put the uh, countertop on here, they'll put a bead of silicone around it. The countertop will go wherever the countertop people and the homeowners decide it's it's the best fit. Uh, you got enough room to mess with the sink below with the drain. Just make sure that what, what we did is we followed along, there's lines. Uh, this, so this two by four is sitting on an inch and a half, like a inch and a half was a platform at this sink. You can see this little chamfer leads to a little flathead. That's what this two by four is sitting on. Similar to right here, what you have uh, is like a little platform that this two by sits on right there. So that's what those are sitting on. That's what they're fastened to. That's what holds the weight. And so we're confident that when a plumber comes in here to mess with this, they're going to have enough room to work here. And then in future maintenance, they're going to have enough room to mess back up in here and all around in here as well. So we went through uh, quite a few configurations before we decided on this one. Excuse me, but I just want to show you what works for us, uh, what we did for this homeowner and and how it came out. Just the, the things in the future is after they paint, they're obviously going to have to come back through here and, and put silicone around these edges to fill the, these gaps in as necessary, but that's not going to take a whole lot of work. But Again, I'm Richard with High Caliber Carpentry. I hope we helped you to solve your problem about how to frame a farmhouse sink. But take care. God bless. We'll see you later, guys.